Tesla is not only accelerating in creating electric cars, but is also soaring in integrating renewable energy into their production lines. And that's where we're going as we tour around Tesla's Giga Factory. Secure your seatbelts and let's go around the facility. Tesla presently manufactures roughly 350,000 cars annually. However, they hope to increase output to well beyond 20 million vehicles a year. This grandiose plan would necessitate significant improvements to the company's current operating network, as well as the construction of many massive plants around the world. And the Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada is the cornerstone of Tesla's manufacturing process. Do you know that the value of Tesla, which is currently about $380 billion, is still soaring daily? And yet, they created the Gigafactory, a cutting-edge plant to increase capacity and meet global demand. Chris Lister, Vice President of Operations at Tesla, further stated that Tesla's working hard to achieve the goal of having its manufacturing become a completely carbon-neutral plant that produces products with no carbon footprint. Meanwhile, Giga Nevada achieved profitability for the first time in 2020, largely because of the sharply growing market for Tesla vehicles. And after around 3.5 years of continuous operation, Panasonic's outlay of $1.6 billion on the Nevada facility started to pay off. When work on Gigafactory 1 started in 2015, it seemed as though Tesla was taking a huge bet. The automobile that was intended to build or destroy them, the Tesla Model 3, and on which Tesla just had hundreds of thousands of reservations despite early shipment potentially being more than a year away, really would filter out the cells required for such a vehicle. Interestingly, Tesla produced its proprietary batteries in collaboration with Panasonic. According to Panasonic, Tesla batteries' energy density could well be increased. A new agreement that would extend until 2023 was eventually signed by the two corporations after years of seemingly developing a partnership. Unfortunately, since forming deals with LG Chem and CATL to source cells in China, Panasonic is no longer Tesla's sole battery supplier. The very first constructed Tesla plant will operate as the prototype for what may someday be a number of enormous Tesla facilities worldwide. In the meantime, Tesla stated that demand for the Model 3 in the United States had surpassed its capacity in the previous years. And guess what? 7,000 people work at the Gigafactory, which is operational 24-7. Per minute, the Gigafactory produces approximately two battery packs. Tesla has demonstrated its capacity and desire to lower the price of battery packs as well as individual cells. The regular production is predicted to increase and is already projected to be roughly 5,000 per week. In 2021, the initiative aimed to cut expenses by $100 per kilowatt hour. For a very long time, they have been preparing for such a venture, including its enormous cost benefit. Nevertheless, they have performed exceptionally well in the industry. A group of extremely intelligent robots appear to work collaboratively with the thousands of human staff at the factory. Using electronic maps, the robots move throughout the facility. A staff member even explained that they are actually on a fixed parity. And the ability to have items move throughout the day from storage to another location with no social interaction is beyond what it actually enables people to do. The purpose of aligning Gigafactory 1 to True North would have been to enable proper alignment of the solar panels mounted on the roof as well as GPS mapping of the machinery. Furthermore, the facility has already been planned to become totally energy independent. Tesla specifically proposes to use a blend of on-site solar, 
wind, and geothermal systems to power the building. Tesla power walls and power packs, which are intended for stable power storage for households or enterprises, have already gone into production. A power wall is similar to a large battery that sits on your walls ready to be used at any time. An average American household can be powered for three days by one power pack, which is made up of 16 Powerwall batteries stacked one on top of the other. And what's more interesting is that at least five states competed to entice Gigafactory by offering tax breaks, subsidies, and other incentives. California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, and Texas are the other states with the company despite San Antonio's larger incentives and sales tax exemption. Over a 20-year period, Nevada expects to pay around $1.9 billion in taxes. Following talks, Tesla decided to build the Gigafactory at the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center or TIRC, mostly because of its efficiency and a Nevada benefit deal. Rail connectivity, the ability to sell directly to consumers, and low air humidity to guarantee less than 300 parts per million humidity for each operation were other side factors. Tesla even received the first 1,000 acres for the TIRC at no cost. It was reported that the plant will have the largest footprint and the second largest capacity when it is finished. Despite receiving greater criticisms for waste in the plant, Tesla's planning system has numerous energy-saving elements. In fact, extra energy from machinery like compressors and high-temperature machines can be used to run machinery more effectively, while also keeping the facility warm during the winter season. Additionally, the Tesla Gigafactory has a water cooling system to fend off exceptionally low temperatures. Due to the Nevada climate, it is extremely dry and scorching during the day and cool at night. Essentially, there is a 10 million gallon water tank there that enables water to cool and is utilized for air conditioners, and many pieces of machinery reportedly need cooled water to function. As most of us know, Tesla is not free of controversy. Carl Hansen, a former employee of the security team at the corporation, discovered a whistleblower complaint with the Securities Exchange Commission in August 2018. He claims that Tesla blocked corporate inquiries into several illegal actions that took place in the Giga Nevada. Hansen claims that the industry would held information about proof of cocaine and methamphetamine trafficking connected to the Mexican drug cartel and folding on factory premises from the DEA and local law enforcement agencies. Hansen also asserts that the corporation has been effective in stifling inquiries into the reportedly $37 million theft of copper and raw materials. When Hansen realized Tesla was stealing on him, he then assisted the FBI's inquiries. Unfortunately, after months of labor, the probe was abruptly ended. But in a three-hour interview, Hansen gave his whole narrative. Though, despite the controversy, Elon Musk, the contentious CEO of Tesla, announced his intention to construct 100 gigafactories over the next few years. A number of gigasites are being built around the world, though the expected figure is far from completion. And Giga 2 in Buffalo, New York marks the first. Before Tesla purchased Solar City, the location that is now known as Giga New York was a manufacturing site instead of a Tesla plant. The purpose of Giga New York would have been to serve as a factory for Tesla Energy, which would manufacture its signature rooftop solar panels along with other home energy items. Giga New York benefited Tesla to the tune of approximately $950 million. Moreover, Tesla's $2 billion Gigafactory in Shanghai, also known as Gigafactory 3, which is scheduled to open in 2020, is anticipated to use a full vehicle manufacturing process to manufacture the Model 3. 
The initial Gigafactory was intended to be used as an operating framework for all subsequent sites, but Tesla is now applying the lessons it has gathered from its Nevada plant to its factory in China. To successfully complete the project, far too many individuals have dedicated a significant portion of their lives, although it is a major competitive advantage. It is also crucial for boosting the advancement of environmentally friendly transportation. Tesla is constructing Gigafactory 4, a new factory outside Berlin, in order to support the European market. Musk hinted that the factory in Berlin would not produce cars in the same way as the others. Elon Musk stated that the locally produced Model Y will feature a significant rethink of the fundamental techniques used to construct automobiles. Tesla is unfortunately decidedly not accepted in Berlin. A significant number of individuals would like the firm to go away. It has received 406 complaints made against the Gigafactory Berlin. The much more contentious ones being those concerning the usage of water, the felling of trees, and the inclusion of piling in the building phase. Tesla responded to a few of the issues by using fuel piles in its outdoor structures and minimizing its anticipated water use. Outside of Austin, Texas, construction is underway on the Giga 5. With a design that might cover 5 million square feet, the building of Giga Factory Texas is a significant undertaking that requires many workers to be hired. Certainly, one of the most prosperous corporations in the contemporary times is without a doubt Tesla. Their Giga plants will be the foundation of the corporation in the upcoming years because they made popular fully electric automobiles and generated a significant amount of consumer interest. With no doubt, Tesla did remain successful in its quest for advanced technology and even has more to explore. Curious about their future plans? Be sure to follow Omega Tech and let us watch out for more of their innovations.